Hey guys, it is me, Happy Star again. Welcome back to Last Generate Survival. So today we have a very interesting event where you can get some unique items. And I am talking about this port laboratory event. So from this event, you can get carbon composites and factory parts. These items are needed in order to upgrade your weapons, to craft mods for your guns. And uh, these are the rarest probably items in the game. A lot of people struggle to get them. So that's why this event is kind of interesting because, hey, you can get those carbon composites. But is this event actually worth it? because it, for those who didn't know you can get carbon composites from the from opening up sunken crates or in my opinion probably the best way to get them is just by recycling full durability guns because to clear the laboratory you will require to sunk lots of weapons into that laboratory so I'm not sure if it's worth it. If you want to get carbon composites, I'd probably just wait for Bunker Bravo event because that Bunker Bravo event gets a lot cheaper. You have 50%, you need to spend 50% less guns on that Bunker Bravo and from opening up like the first crate inside of that Bunker Bravo, you can get like what, four, six carbon composites. So maybe this event isn't actually that good. So that's what we'll be checking out today. I'll be talking to you guys here in the chat about this event. I'll be hearing your opinion. We also have a poll going there about that event and welcome, welcome to all those that have just joined to the stream live and if you're watching this live stream after it's over then welcome to the stream and then welcome to the previous live stream whatever head to the pinned comments down below there you can find timestamps and you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a bit quicker once again welcome welcome to all of you live to, to all of those that are watching this live stream after it's over i'm glad to see all of you here hopefully all of you are having a fantastic day and yeah we're gonna probably start getting ready to go to that laboratory after that we're gonna go to the transport hub we might do a few raids but before we do uh, before we do all of that Actually, we're going to start off with a raid because I already have a revenge raid ready outside. I've done a little bit of research on it. I'm not sure what kind of loot we can get there. I just know how to enter that base, I guess. And uh, yeah, so let's hop on the chopper. And currently we have a poll going here in the chat here. And uh, yeah, 36% of people are saying that this laboratory event is worth it. And 35% of you are saying that you've never cleared it. And 24% of you are saying that it's not worth it. So it's very split. It is actually very, very split. The point is, maybe some of you can correct me, but I think if you clear the entire laboratory, you will get like what, an entire stack or only 10 carbon composites? I think you get 20 carbon composites and 20 factory parts. Is that true or do you get only 10 of each? I'm not sure. It's not worth it unless you want factory parts, says Jayla. Yes, absolutely. Like if you don't want factory parts or carbon composites, then yes, that laboratory event is just garbage, like straight up dog water. But if you want those things, then it's kind of worth it. So I guess that's what we are talking about. We are talking mainly about like factory parts and carbon composites, because if, if you don't want those things, then obviously that event is not worth it. You never did part two of The Last of Us. What do you mean part two? I mean, I've played The Last of Us fully. I haven't played the second The Last of Us. But yeah, where do I place my C4? I am a little bit confused, whatever. I'm gonna open up this door here. It's not worth it, it's a suspect, bro. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I wouldn't probably suggest clearing that event. I mean, it all depends how many guns you have and how many factory parts you need, but I just probably wait for Bunker Bravo event. That event is a little bit better than the laboratory event. I think what they should do is make the that laboratory event cheaper, just as they've done with the labor with the bunker bravo event. Like let's say if zombies have 50% less health, then the laboratory event can actually be good. Not only for like those carbon composites and factory parts, but just to clear that event because laboratory already doesn't give that great loot. So if they nerf those zombies by 50% then I think it might actually be viable. So maybe, who knows, maybe in the future, they will do something about it. So let's try to open up a few crates here. And let's see what we got. A red coupon. It's worth it if you're going for the joint. Otherwise, just recycle your guns. Yeah, you can also kill the A2 boss to get some drone parts. That's also true. That's absolutely true. Okay, we've gotten some pieces of cloth. I will get that. And nothing else. Let's put on one more chest and then we can skedaddle from this base. So it's kind of a poor, kind of sad base. I think this is our sixth bad raid. Because last time I think we've done like four or five raids. Even in the past few raids were kind of like meh. So it's been a while since we've gotten a good raid. And when you think about it, we're getting closer and closer to our good raid. Because hopefully eventually we will get a nice raid. So hey, this raid is good. 
but maybe the following raid is going to be nice. Whatever, I'll try to bring some nails back to the base and let's skedaddle from this raid. Does this raid get Sykes approval? No, it does not get Sykes approval. Leaving the juicy electronic circuit, says Lila. Welcome to the stream. And where is that electronic circuit? First of all, that was my electronic circuit that the dude stole from me. I forgot about it. So I got it. If you already build a drone, then there is no reason to clear the laboratory again, to be honest. Probably. You can get probably carbon composites and maybe factory parts. I'm not sure about carbon composites, but I'm sure about factory parts. You can get factory parts from the transport hub. So, yeah, the laboratory is pretty bad. They should definitely buff the laboratory. The laboratory, even with the laboratory event, it's kind of goop. Because the laboratory buffs here, damage done by the equalizer is increased by 25%. Like, okay, boomer. Like, well, who cares? Who's going to use those equalizers? Like, it's, it's, a, it's a bad event. It could be a lot better. After drone completion, the lab event is useless. And after ATV Bunker Bravo event is useless, says Try For All. That is true, because if you, ha if you have your ATV, most likely you already have all of your uh, guns. So getting carbon composites from that Bunker Bravo event is kind of pointless. But still, I guess Bunker Bravo event is, is pretty good. It's actually pretty nice. Benches were surely full of tungsten. Exactly. I left that tungsten for later. I knew that we had tungsten in those workbenches, so I just didn't want to chop them down. I didn't want to steal the tungsten from that raid. For those who don't understand, guys, tungsten is not in the game. I'm just joking here. Don't worry about it. Tungsten is not in the game. You didn't miss anything. Let's drop this stuff here. I'm going to drop the electronic circuit over here. Bye, Emma. Let's drop some nails in one of the other chests. And then we can probably get ready to that for the laboratory event. Then we have the transport hub event. Hmm. Minecraft villager noises. Hmm. We don't have a lot of space now. We need to drop something and I don't know what we're going to drop. Maybe I can bring these aluminum plates somewhere else. There we go. Let's do that. I'd rather do Bunker Bravo than the laboratory. 100% agree. I think Bunker Bravo is, is one of the best events in the game. La uh, for sure. Bunker Bravo is, in my opinion, one of the best events in the game. It's amazing. Even after you assemble your ATV, like, you can still kind of go and clear Bunker Bravo if you want to get, I don't know what. <laughs> it's still kind of useless after you assemble the ATV, that's true, but it, it's a nice event. In my opinion, it's a nice event. When did you start your channel? A long time ago. Honestly, I don't remember. For the longest time for me, it was like four years ago, but that was probably five, six years ago. So maybe ten years ago. I don't know. It's been a long time. Oh my goodness. Beans still don't fit. I keep walking around and keep trying to, to store those beans. And yet I can't do it. I can't just do it. When is the next free to play soon? I have some more free to play content. So no worries about that. More free to play videos are coming soon. I don't know the exact date. I don't know the exact hour and minute and second when, it, when it'll come out. But it'll come out one day. I promise. Can give you a sire guarantee. It's like, I'd like to ask if the settlement daily rewards go in the inbox once the space of the crate is maxed out. Oh, if they go to the inbox, some people say yes. I haven't tested that out myself, so I can't confirm or deny that. But a lot of people have said that, yes, it goes towards the... Uh, to your inbox. But that stuff goes to your inbox. Hmm. Where are my miniguns? Let's get a few miniguns, ladies and gents. Let's get a few flare guns, a few miniguns, and let's go to the laboratory. We will absolutely clear it, ladies and gents, today. Are flare guns any good? I don't know. I just want to use some of them. We have this armor. I think we should get a better one. Uh, like this. We're going to store this armor in the pickup truck. That way I won't have to delete it. Um, this over here. That's good to know. I thank you on behalf of my racks, Supa. Again, I can't confirm. Don't think me thank the people who told me that. As I still have no idea if if that actually works. But it should work. I don't see why would somebody lie about that. I don't know if there was a traitor skill. Probably just make him show up more. If there was a traitor skill. I don't know. Never heard of it. I have no idea. It's like, is traitor skill good? I have no idea. I've never heard of it. Probably doesn't really matter. It's like, do you exist? I don't know. Do I? 
do we all exist? Is is our life real? Hey, bro, my last on Earth is not opening. What do I do, man? I have no idea. Try to restart your phone. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. I'll get a flare gun. I want to keep some space here in my inventory. I want to keep both of these slots here for, for something useful. And that's it. I think we can roll. Uh, I know what I'll do, actually. Wait, guys. I know what I'll do. I'll probably have to go back to the base anyways. Or maybe I won't have to go back to the base. I don't know. What I know, though, is for now, I'll drop some of these guns. I don't know why I even dropped them there. I'm an idiot. Kind of stupid. Do you think last on Earth well introduced? Says Matthew Spellman. Absolutely it introduced it well. Sorry, what introduced what? I don't know. That was that was the whole question. Do you think last on Earth well introduced? Absolutely. I turn 43 tomorrow. You should give doggos 43 turkeys, says Lila Barra. So again, early happy birthday to you. And uh, yeah, sure. Why not give doggos 43 turkeys? I had to feed them anyways. So we might as well just, um, I'll give 40, right? I don't have three extra turkeys because it's going to be hard to split them. But sorry, that makes no sense. All right. I need to do something about it then. I need to give 43 turkeys. I started it, guys. I might as well do it properly. So are you going to do the community event? <laughs> Don't look like I'm gonna do the community event! No! The long answer is... Of course no, the short answer is no. That's it. I'll take 40 lol, that's it, we did 43. I'll eat the three turkeys myself then. If you don't want 43, I'll eat the three turkeys. Give them 80 turkeys. I don't know. I'll eat the three turkeys for your health. And, uh, you know what, whatever, I'll just give them all the turkeys, that's it. No need to imagine anything, that's it. I give them 43 turkeys, happy early birthday to you. And that's it. Time for us to skedaddle, ladies and gents. Time for us to go to the laboratory event. Um, that's it, I don't think there's anything else we need to do. So let's go. Um, um, I'll get the flare guns and I can... Drop these things here, can hop on the chopper and we can skedaddle. So have you played Far Cry 6? No, I haven't played Far Cry 6, but I have played Far Cry 3 off camera a long time ago. That Far Cry 3 was probably one of my, like, first... Well, it wasn't one of my first games that I've played, but it was... It was a game that I used to play on my first computer. I had GTX 650 Ti. That was my first kind of... Not first computer, but it was my, like, first good computer that, that I got. My parents guided for me. Uh, they were kind enough to to give me money for Christmas. For me and my brother. They said like, hey, do you want a new computer? We said yes. So they gave us money for both of us for Christmas. And we bought a computer. Like a first normal computer. Before that I had a laptop and I had another desktop. But whatever. And I used to play Far Cry 3 to warm up my room in the winter. And it worked perfectly. So yeah, I played Far Cry 3 a lot. I've never played Far Cry 6, though. Played Far Cry Primal here on the channel. What's the time for you? Um, it's 6.08. Tell us how you used to heat up the room, Grandpa. Says Matthew. Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! Is maybe Maybe I used to... I told that story before. Maybe I told that story before. I apologize. Well, what else can I say? I told that story before. Unbelievable. Um, that's it. Let's just begin the laboratory event. It's like, is level 93 good for two months of playing? It depends. I mean, only you can decide if it's good or bad. I mean, to, to some people, some people maybe can reach that thing in a few days. If they play 24-7, if you play it on like an hour a day, then it's fine. It's all good, man. Don't worry about it. There's nothing good or bad about it. You can play for a year and be level 93. It's fine as long as you're enjoying the game. So don't worry, man. Sorry, can you answer? Is Silencer worth it on the M16 or not? No, it's not worth it. Don't craft it. It's bad. It is pretty bad. Are you going to upload another Scum Survival video? Soon, yes. 
there will be a scum survival video. We have new rules. Actually, I want to get agility park. There we go. There was that agility park. Let's get it. And yeah, we're going to do this even with the agility park. Without the agility park, this laboratory event is kind of bad. I still see 33, 34% of people saying that this event is actually worth it. And I don't know if I agree with 34% of people because it is... It is expensive. Like, you need to have the agility perks and everything. Otherwise, it's even more expensive. I don't know, man. I think the laboratory event is pretty cool. I don't know if it gets my approval. I really don't know. But maybe you don't need to kill all of these zombies, right? You don't have to clear the full laboratory. Like, if you want to get the drone... I'm just thinking about it. Like, some of these zombies can be killed with just melee weapons. And... Uh, wait, but wait a minute. Check this out. Some of them have dropped maybe something. Look at this. We've already gotten one carbon composite. Maybe it's not that bad. I take my words back. <laughs> this event is good. If you can get just at least like one carbon composite like this by entering laboratory for free, then it's not that bad. Agility pretty much saves many meds. Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay. I dodged that spit. Uh, we got another A card. So it's not that bad. I just realized that you don't have to clear the entire laboratory to get like 20 of those... Uh, carbon composites, right? You can just clear a few rooms until you get like a couple of carbon composites and that's enough. Like just getting one carbon composite is already kind of a lot as they are rare, so... Yeah, you know what? The laboratory event maybe it's not the best. Like, I, I don't think it's that great. But it's not terrible. I would give it my approval. It has... It has its place in the game. What do you guys think about it? Obviously it's not great. It could be better. Absolutely. The dude just spat on me. I don't like it. Please don't spit at me again. Oh my goodness. Don't spit at me again. Just die. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Which emulator do you use to play last Uh I use Mimo Player, but currently the game lags on all, on all emulators, so it doesn't really matter which emulator you use. Back in the days, the game used to lag a bit more. Back in the days, like a few months ago, it used to lag for me more on other emulators. It didn't lag on Mimo Player, but now it lags everywhere, so it doesn't really matter. Just pick whichever emulator you like. Some people like LD players. Some people like... Um, Mimo players. Some people like Blue Stacks. Some people use Nox. It's all fine. Maybe some people even use other things. Factory parts too, Cyrus. Yeah, yeah, you can also get factory parts. Like, we've already gotten one factory part and one carbon composite. It's not a lot, but that's something. What is the best bunker for you? I mean, there are only two bunkers in the game, and it's kind of easy. I mean, bunker alpha is the best. It's not really a question. I'll need to go back then and make some space in my inventory. Fought necrotic hybrid. Fight necrotic boss, Siren. You said fought necrotic hybrid boss, Siren. What do you mean fought? If you mean that I should fight the necrotic boss hybrid, then I doubt it. It's, it's a pretty bad boss. It's not a fun boss, honestly. I, I really don't like it. Like, if I had to choose one of the most stupid bosses in the game, that Necrotic Hybrid would be probably top one. I'm kind of thinking which boss is worse than that Necrotic Hybrid. I also don't like that Popsicle boss, whatever his name is. Icicle? Uh, I think his name is Icicle. Maybe it's not Icicle. Well, the B3, uh, the B, B1 boss. I don't like that boss either. I think they're stupid. But that boss is at least at least a little bit better. At least give some nice loot sometimes. Again, not guaranteed. I'm gonna lure this acid melter all the way here. I need to dodge that spit. No! Oh my goodness. I just got spat at the last second. At the very last second. Unbelievable. Popsicle. Maybe he is a popsicle. I like to call him popsicle. But I don't know who he actually is. Doesn't really matter. Icebreaker boss is Virate. Yes, it's the Icebreaker. I'm talking about the Icebreaker. Then you also get the boss of the transport hub that is terrible. Yeah, the miner is also pretty bad. At least those bosses are like doable. They're not like horrible, horrible. The hybrid is just like straight up stupid. But like, yeah, there are a lot of bad bosses in this game. I agree. I mean, it's easier to find a bad boss than a good boss. Psych, what is a good boss? I mean, that's a good question. I mean, I like the Revenger. You can dodge all of his spits. I think it's... It's pretty fun. I like the... I mean, for those who are not familiar with the Revenger, I mean, Ravager, right? 
Ravager is decent. Uh, what other boss is decent? Please don't spit. Okay, we dodged that spit. That's good. Okay. The blind one. The blind one is a really good boss. Yes, I agree. The blind one is a really, really good boss. I'm thinking what other one could that be. But yeah, I totally agree. The blind one is like... Maybe top three best bosses in the game, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, the blind one is really good. Absolutely. It has like nice mechanics. You can dodge him. You can do everything. You can kill it. The big one. The big one is just garbage. Like you just attack it and he just fights and you just attack it constantly, non-stop. It's like one of the worst bosses as well. I like the... I like Dr. Dread. But again, Dr. Dread by itself isn't a great boss. But like that entire room with Dr. Dread is kind of nice. I think Dr. Dread is, is a good boss. It's a difficult boss, but it's interesting. I like the mechanics of that boss. Wasted the first hit, but that's fine. So I guess what other bosses do we have in the game? The new transport hub bosses, they're not terrible, but yeah. They could be better, but I don't think they're terrible. We definitely have worse bosses. The witch. She's not the worst, but also she's kind of weird. She destroys a lot of armor. Like, those zombies when they spawn. Like, you could use C4 to destroy her. She doesn't give any loot, though. So she's kind of pointless. But if we're judging just as... As if she was just a boss and nothing else, then... Hmm. She's below average, I'd say. Let's maybe call bosses, like, below and above average. If I had to... Raid the miner or the butcher... Like, they'll be maybe just average they wouldn't be above or below i'd say that they're just kind of average maybe a little bit below average the witch is below average the blind one is definitely above average lurker is lurker a boss the real boss is the parasite what Okay, let's open this thing up. Let's use the spore. Okay, now I can open up the room and deal with these guys. The bear boss. Oh, the lurker boss. You mean the... At the dead island. And those bosses are pretty bad. We just judge them by the mechanics. They just have lots of health and that's it. They're like definitely below, below average. Zombie bear. I mean, the guy just doesn't do anything. He just attacks you. You don't have to move. You don't have to dodge anything. You can't dodge him because whenever he attacks you, you get the that bleeding damage. You don't have to do anything. Look at this. We didn't get anything. We just got another factory part at the very end. That's that is that is actually weird. Maybe you should just kill a few zombies at the very entrance, and that's it. Then you just dip out. Because it feels like. You don't get a lot of these factory parts and carbon composites at the end, but if you want to get only one carbon composite and one factory part, maybe you can get it at the very, very beginning. Maybe that's the strat. Oh, Lord. That dude will absolutely spit on me. Okay, I'm going to dodge it. In my next life. Not today, though. Oh, and there are the, the bosses. Sure, some of you are saying that MK7. Uh, so yeah, that that's gonna be like A2 boss or B2 boss. Those are fine bosses. Those are above average bosses. Those are fine bosses. I don't mind them because they have some mechanics. They have like those laser beams shooting you and other stuff. So I think they are above average. Why is your name hard to pronounce, Cyric? Maybe for some people it's hard to pronounce. I don't know. It's just Cyric. Okay, the dude's gonna spit on me. Luckily, we'll avoid it. Without acid melters, it would be my favorite location. Uh, if you think about those acid melters all the time, you can probably avoid most of them. Just, like, sprint towards them and you'll be able to avoid them. But you have to, like, constantly think about them. If you just forget them about a while, 
the sea silent. I mean the sea silent. There's a lot of words in English that start with the letter C. They it sounds like an S. Like for example, Siri from Witcher, right? Siri. She starts with a C. And it's also Siri. I mean it's Cyric though looks like Kyric. It sounds better to pronounce it as Kyric. But I It is Cyric, stop it. Okay, stop questioning. Let's get the new rules, probably. Yeah, that'll be a nice perk. Let's activate it. What was the first game you ever played? My first, first ever game. That's actually a good question. I need to remember that. If we're just talking about, like, older games and everything. Probably Tetris was, like, my first ever game. Tetris. And then I got... I don't know what that thing was called. Atari or something. Then I had, like, Super Mario or something. And, like, some other random games. I think those were the first games that I've played. So there's that. Iric. <laughs> it's just Cyric. Goodness. Oh, I avoided that. That's good. I mean, flare guns aren't that good. Flare guns are pretty trash. I'll be honest with you. But hey, that's something. I'm gonna use those flare guns. I have them. I'll use them. I should bring more of them because we had like, what, four or five flare guns? And I already used up most of them. That's good. My first game was probably Temple Run. Okay. Are you going to try GTA 6 if it ever comes out? Then yes, sure. I think I'll play it. <laughs> Yairik! Guys, it's not Yairik. Jairik. Actually, when I came up with the name Cyric, I was like, it is Kyrik. Like, it, it looks like Kyrik. It should be Kyrik. But I just didn't like Kyrik. I mean, happy Kyrik. It, it doesn't sound Kyrik. What is Kyrik? Makes no sense. Cyric, on the other hand. You know what is Cyric? I am Cyric. But Kyrik? It's just... Kyrick doesn't sound good. That's it. So Cyric it is. Cyric it is. Okay, let's deal with these stupid groaners. Can we wall trick this slasher? Probably we can. So yeah, let's sort of wall trick this dude. With this epic flare gun that we got. Fire it, guys. Stop it. I thought you named yourself after Cyrax from Mortal Kombat. I never played Mortal Kombat. Maybe I have played it. Like the, the really old ones. Maybe I've played it, but I don't even know if th that was Mortal Kombat. Probably not. I don't think I've ever played Mortal Kombat. So yeah, I never really understood those games. I was never really into that kind of stuff. Maybe some people like them. And even now, when they release like a new Mortal Kombat, like you have to fight from the side. You just spam one button and then... I don't know. It, it was very weird. I never understood those games, honestly. They're probably not that bad, but I just never really understood them. There was a game that I played like a really long time ago, except that was probably with Ninja Turtles. There was Shredder, there were Ninja Turtles. It's like the same thing, the same concept as Mortal Kombat, except it was with... from like Ninja Tur Turtles universe. And you just get Shredder and you use like his best attack constantly. Just spam like one button all the time and that's it. There's no strategy to it, just like spamming one button. Whoever spams that button first wins. It's kind of stupid. So that was like my entire experience with like Mortal Kombat style games. Play Raft. I've already played Raft on the channel. I've made a few live streams and I've beaten Raft fully. Oh my god, Sarek, I had no idea. Well, now you know. Please undawn part four. 
Uh, recently we've made a live stream. I've made a right, live stream recently a few months ago. Weeks actually, not months. I don't know if there will be on Dawn Part 4 though. If you watched that live stream, you would know that I said that maybe there will be no more on Dawn. I was impressed by Undone at first, now I'm just like, eh. I still think it's an alright game, but... Mm. I'd probably, like, if I am completely honest with you, I'd probably rather... I'd rather play Life After than Undone, I'm not gonna lie. I think Life After is better than Undone. And I'm not the biggest Life After fan, if you know me. You already know that I'm not the biggest fan of Life After. But I would probably play Life After than Undone. That's how my armor survived, because we have that agility perk. Dude, we have like four, only four carbon composites and three factory parts. Yeah, it's only worth it to kill a few zombies until you get like one carbon composite and that's it. Then you just give up. It's like try GTA 5. I've made a few videos on GTA. I made a one video maybe on GTA 5. And I've played GTA 5 off camera. this thing over here it's like play far cry 4 sure why not oh let's get the interrads let's get more of these spies maybe even today i'll upgrade the bioreactor why not if i have 50 cement if i don't have it i'm not gonna be upgrading that you get five of each item when you go if you go through every room oh my goodness i'm stuck here now i might die i might actually die What are the best mods for the AK? Make sure to check out my mod guide video. I have two of those videos. Explaining, like, first of all, probably all mods, and then I have a video just about common mods, and then a video about all the mods. And these are the best AK mods, but you can actually mod AK with common mods, and some people prefer it. So, there's that. Let's open this up, and let's fight the boss. Do we have enough guns? I have, like, two AKs, a shotgun... And that's it. Will that be enough? Hopefully. If that ain't enough, I don't know what I'll do. I'm ready. Let's turn on that soundtrack. I didn't see it. There we go. Are you ready, Buckaroos? You left the box behind. I can't open up that room. Maybe there are a few more boxes. I'll open them up later. I didn't leave anything. I left it for later. So don't worry. That's it. I'm ready. Let's open inside. Let's fight the boss. I said this boss is a uh, this boss is above average. At least like there's like some sort of a strategy to it. It's not that bad. I mean, still you have to just spam your guns to kill it. But I mean, there are definitely worse bosses. Like if you raid this boss on on last and earth scale, then it's fine. Oh my goodness. Oh lord, I got stunned. Okay. Again, this boss in normal mode is definitely a lot easier. All you have to do the trick to killing him is just standing here in one spot, basically. Like, go here and stay here. Don't, don't run around him. Like, let him do whatever things he does there. Don't get shocked. And uh, that's it. And you should actually be able to do it. Not that crazy difficult. There we go. We did it. We absolutely just demolished that boss into tiny smithereens. Oh. There we go. Let's pick up the loot. What do we have here? A flight controller. Okay, I'll take it. So yeah, for those who want to assemble their drones, that's all you have to do. Just kill this guy. And don't go anywhere further because the B1 and B2 floors are even more expensive than A1 and A2 floors. So, yeah. Um, 
I just lost what I was thinking about. Doesn't matter. So yeah, B1 and B2 floors are expensive. That's all there is to it. That's what's up. Carrion, definitely top five. At least he drops something. I don't think he drops, like, really great loot. Now, when you need to assemble your drone, yes, like, he actually drops something useful, but before he was worse. Um, how about... How about we go back... To the top i might need more guns anyway so let's go back to the base let's bring some more guns let's get another armor set and then we can do it did you find a rottweiler you cannot find them in the game you can only buy them for now please respond and what did you say uh please respond oh wow you have a lot of messages here it's like where's sad cyric happy Cyric versus sad Cyric versus angry Cyric. that's it that's what you were begging for me to respond Okay. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Okay, let's probably get... Wait, what's better? One data disk or one hard drive? I don't remember. You get 100 points, and for the other ones, you get either 30 or something points. I don't remember which one is better, which one is worse. Probably the hard drive is better? I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've given those items. Probably the disks are better. New t-shirt made. I've had the shirt for probably five, six, seven years. So there's that. But hey, thank you. Thank you for it's it's a nice shirt. It is a very nice shirt. Thank you very much. Every time we every time I put on a different shirt, we're like, oh, is that a new shirt? Thank you guys. Thank you for noticing my shirt. I've had them since I was like probably 16. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, let's bring... Let's go back to the base. We need to get another armor set and more guns for the B1 and B2 floors. Is the community event worth it for free-to-play players? Probably not, really. Cyric, would you do a crater guy guide for last on Earth? I mean, you shouldn't play in the crater. That's my guide. Do you think cats would be a good addition to the game? Absolutely not. Ah! <laughs> Haven't seen you stream in this shirt before. I'm sure I've streamed with this shirt like a few weeks ago even. Maybe days ago, but yeah. But it do be like that. Okay, let's drop. Let's actually delete this armor. And uh, what do we got? Another set. Fat Cyric used to fit in those shirts. What do you mean Fat Cyric? I kind of don't get it. Fat Cyric. What's a Fat Cyric? I've never heard of Fat Cyric. Um, this goes there. Then we have some random other items. Please play with the second account. Perhaps one day. There will be videos on it. I don't know if we'll do a live stream. Uh, let's drop that here. No, it doesn't fit. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day's been ruined. So to those that have just joined, welcome to the stream. Currently, we are trying to clear the laboratory for the laboratory event when you used to weigh more. I mean, it's not like I was, uh, I was fat, fat. I was like only what, like 85 kilos and I'm meter 85. Okay, I need to convert all of those units. Meters to feet. I mean, I know I'm six feet and uh, kilos to pounds. 83 kilos. I was about... Wait, no. 83. Actually, I was maybe like 85. Let's say 85. 187 pounds. Now I weigh like 75. Now I'm 165 pounds. So it's not like... 10 extra kilos. Like what? 12 something extra pounds? Uh, 20 pounds? It made a huge difference, to be honest. Um, I need more guns. No. 
nothing. And more guns. There we go. Let's get them. We have a lot of miniguns. I just realized that I'm not really using them because they're kind of bad in the laboratory. I'll probably drop all of those miniguns here because I'm not going to use them. I almost never have a chance. Uh, almost never have a chance to use them because they're just bad. Um, where do I have other weapons? What else can I take with me? Whatever, let's take some of these AKs. That's not gonna be enough for the full... for the full other floor, whatever. I'll take these and let's upgrade them and let's get that all. So I've already gotten four factory parts and four carbon composites. I'm still gonna keep them because I'll get more of them. So I drop them here. At least I'll see how many of them I've gotten. Go. Let's upgrade everything. That said, I think we... I did everything there is to do. Let's get some more healing items, though. There we go. We can go now. We can skedaddle. It's like, how can we level up faster? You can level up faster by going to... Clear Bunker Alpha with the healer's buff. It's like, how long does the event last? I'm too lazy to look it up in Last on Earth. So Zip Zap, it lasts till... For two more days, for two days and seven hours. So it lasts till... Uh, what is What month is it? It's July. Till July 30th, basically. Probably. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the port. Let's see, Bunker Alpha is nerfed. No, no, nobody nerfed Bunker Alpha. It's still the same. It's like slowly running out of guns. We still have enough guns. We have a lot of red tickets and lots of other things. I mean, we'll get a nice raid quite soon-ish, I hope. Plus, I'll open up like a few blue crates. A couple of like red, yellow crates and bun crowd. And like, and again, I, I'll have more guns than I can store. Like, I kind of don't open up those crates because I already don't have space where to store them. We already have, like, almost four, four racks uh, full of weapons. So, there's that. Oh, no, I'm an idiot for going here. A donut. An absolute donut. As if laboratory is worth it. Laughing face says Hitman. It is pretty garbage, yes. Laboratory is pretty bad, but if you want to get your carbon composites and factory parts, then it's not that bad. So there's that. I don't know what is what. I've completely forgotten what question I just answered. All I know is that I gotta go back there and get my seaweed. Uh, let's get that. How old are you? I'm 80. It's gonna be 81 soon. Is it good to start raiding as soon as you get level 150? It depends on your base. It depends on your preferences. Uh, on your preferences, if you want to raid or not. It's like grind for Sigma outfit for us to see, bruh. You did not say that. I'm not grinding for the Sigma outfit. Hold up, you're 80. How? Of course I'm 80. How old do you think I am? Oh, let's drop it here. God damn it! Sarek doesn't look 80, he looks 60 or 70. I'll dropkick every single one of you who said that. That's it. I'm sick and tired of being bullied every single livestream. 
Um, which perk do I get? I kind of don't need anything. We have action hero. Weapons don't miss anymore. My weapons already don't miss. Whatever, I'll get that action hero perk, but my weapons already don't miss. But hey, let's get it. Okay, the exploder is gonna pop. Let's get the exploder. Ladybug, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Zombie, goodbye. Um, wait, I don't have more space, do I? I think I can have more space by going back and dropping four of these things over there. There we go. Now we have a bit more space in the inventory. Now we can pick up those B cards. And there's that other chest, so let's try to open it up. Why wouldn't we do that? Also, let's not forget about those flare guns, because I did bring a lot of them. So I'd rather, like, save these AKs and shotguns for the end of this place, for the boss fight. As I don't really want to fight bosses with flare guns. Bosses, as if I'm going to fight lots of bosses, there's only one more boss left. Plus, I need to open up all of those chests, so maybe after we are done with this laboratory, I'll do an entire... And a circle around this laboratory again. I'll try to pick up and open up the rest of those chests. Because, yeah, I don't have space now to take everything. And there are still a few chests that I haven't opened up yet. Okay, let's deal with the frozen giant. Okay, they have a little bit more health probably because of the debuffs. I didn't even check the debuffs. Maybe I'll check that later, but they have more health than usual. So that is their debuff. So yeah, something tells me that this laboratory event is kind of bad. You can wall trick a lot of the zombies though. It is definitely possible to wall trick. To wall trick them, but still. I don't think it's worth it. Okay, we're at it anyway, so I might as well just check my debuffs. Um, enemies' maximum health is increased by 15%. I've only noticed that, and it's been on since Sector A1. Okay. Understandable. Have a nice day. So I'm still surprised that 35% of people say that this laboratory event is actually worth it. I'm surprised that that many people find it worth it. Maybe it is good, I don't know. I doubt it though. I think it's pretty bad. Have I missed something? We've just cleared Bunker Charlie, we've just assembled the helicopter. And now we are clearing the laboratory for the event. Yeah, these flare guns just break like sticks, like twigs. They are insanely weak. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. This dude crawled out of nowhere. Why? Should have dodged that spit. The game kind of lagged. My character didn't want to walk. I told him to walk. He didn't listen to me. I should have absolutely dodged that spit. I mean, look at this. We only have five carbon composites and we've killed a lot of zombies already. I mean, there are a few zombies that I've missed, but we've killed so many zombies. Um, it's ridiculous. I really think this event is bad. Like, this event does not get my approval. I don't, I don't agree with people that think this event is good. I think it is fine to open it up and get, like, a free carbon composite and then just leave this event. But that's it. That's all there is to it. It's, it's actually really bad. Like, I've killed so many zombies... 
and I've just gotten five carbon composites. I've missed some zombies already, so what? I'm supposed to kill even more of them? That is actually... That's actually garbage. Uh, wait, there was supposed to be a chest in that room. Oh, there was already one chest. I'm an idiot. There was a chest here, and there was a chest at the very beginning. For those who don't know, we can only find two chests per floor, so I've already gotten two chests at the very beginning. That's why I didn't get a chest here. I'm somewhat of a donut. A round donut. As I like to say, with no toppings, no spices. Spices? Just a simple donut. No sugar, nothing. Just, just dough. Like, underbaked dough. That's all there is to it. Oh yeah, I casually cleared Bunker Charlie with my epic uh, MGL, no biggie. Psych, every time somebody asks if they missed anything. Yeah, I mean, what else am I gonna tell them? What else can I say? They missed, they missed the MGL part. The Bunker Charlie part and other parts. What can I say? Donut or pizza siren? I'm not the biggest fan of donuts. They're great, but they have so many calories that they're not worth it. They're not worth it to eat them. Okay, let's get that. Worth it when you clear all the rooms and get a stack of factory parts and composites only when you need them. But even when you need that stuff to get 20 of them, I don't know. It's a really tough sell. It's a really tough sell when you clear- you have to clear the entire laboratory, every single room, to get 20 carbon composites and 20 factory parts. I don't know, maybe it is worth it. I- I don't know though. I mean, how else are you gonna get them? Like, you're not gonna recycle 40 guns, right? Maybe it is worth it if you need that stuff and you have spare guns laying around and you can actually do this place with some melee weapons in a few hours. Maybe it is, like, somewhat, some way worth it. But, like, yeah. The only reason why it's good is because it's difficult to get those carbon composites and factory parts. Because they don't exist anywhere else. But it's still very expensive. It's like, is it worth it to clear waves and police department with mines? Yes. The answer is yes, it's worth it. It's like, have you ever played Don't Starve? Yes, I've made a video or two on Don't Starve. Okay, let's hide here. A flare gun. Yeah, that might not be enough weapons. We might need to go back to the base again. To open that up again. And wall trick some zombies, lesser guns. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can wall trick some zombies, but it's not like they'll be free to wall trick anyways. You'll have to use melee weapons. Like, it's still expensive to do it. And the amount of time it'll take you to clear this place if you wall trick them is, like, ridiculous. It is doable, though, but it is very expensive. I don't know, I'm still very mixed about this event. Stupid flare gun. Okay, finally the exploder did not pop. It popped on its own. Let's get that. I'm level 63, and I'm still not getting that. How to complete my chopper? Clear Bunker Alpha, and you will complete your chopper. You need to open up red and yellow crates to get all the necessary parts. Or you can go to the farm location, and once that barn opens up, you can get some, sometimes, parts for your chopper as well. All those parts are random. Okay, let's get the passport, and let's load the last floor. Oh my goodness, the dude punched me, and of course I got that bleeding effect on the first punch. Wall trick plus agility, best combo. 
Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah, the amount of melee weapons you need to have is... is ridiculous. Like, melee weapons and guns. And the amount of time to clear this event. But factory parts and carbon composites are very rare. It's like, I keep getting, like, mixed and unmixed feelings. Like, sometimes I feel like, oh, this event is actually good. Like, if you can clear this entire place fully, you'll use, like, a lot of guns, you'll use a lot of melee weapons, but hey... You will get, like, an entire stack of factory parts and carbon composites, which are really nice. So I'm like, maybe this event is actually great. But on the other hand, the amount of guns you have to use here... Is ridiculous. I don't know, man. Overall, my latest opinion on it, my current opinion is that it's probably worth it. That I think it is actually worth it. It's like, are only the new players get one time blue badge in the police department, or does it happen frequently? I think only it's one time only. Maybe sometimes you can find it, but it's very rare. I used to get carbon composites and arena for the blueprint to mod almost all the guns. I used this event to get carbon composites and arena for all the blueprints. Okay. Okay, okay. Understandable. Maybe that this event isn't that bad. Yeah, it is very expensive, but it is probably worth it. So yeah, I agree. It's a nice event then. Again, nice, it's kind of hard to describe this event. Nice. It is worth it. It's good. A one-time only what? You can get a blue card at the police department in one of the lockers, in one of the chests. There's a room probably with that explodey zombie. And there, behind that zombie, you can get a blue card, but it's a one-time thing. Once it resets, you're not going to get that blue card guaranteed. Uh, Fernie 95, welcome to the stream, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Yikes. Okay, let's wait until those spits disappear. Use your guns mod video as a guide, says Sam. Thanks for checking it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Hopefully it was useful. It's a pretty old video. Maybe I would have done it a little bit differently now, but it has all the information in it that I think everybody could ever need. I showed like all the mods. I explained everything. I don't know. Maybe I'll redo that video one day, but I think it's still okay. Why well, use so many shots on the dude flare when they are low HP, says Fernie. It looks like they're a low HP, but they're not gonna die. It looks like they'll die when they like 20 HP. It looks like they'll die from that flare shot, but they'll still survive. It's just an illusion. Feels like that flare gun will last forever, but as soon as you stop shooting, it basically stops burning. Some of the flare shots are definitely wasted, I agree, but not a lot of them. Less than you would think, actually. Okay, they're frozen, frozen bloater. Frozen blow a little. Let's deal with the dude. Nothing here. If you recycle a gun that is almost broken, do you still get the same? No, you don't get almost anything if you recycle a broken gun. You'll get only... Uh, springs and that's it. You don't really get anything else. Yeah. 
when will we go to another island to farm titanium or hopefully not soon <laughs> i don't know when i'll go there like titanium is useless there's nothing to do with it i had five health i should have died there but i survived that's good that's a w i guess Yeah, let's deal with the Juggernaut. Okay, let's open up this room. And we're almost done. Then I'll just have to go and fight the boss. Obviously, we don't have enough resources for that. I don't have enough guns. Can I drink an energy drink to restore my thirst? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> Sayak, you're an idiot! Stop it. Just stop it. I had to try it, okay? I wanted to restore my thirst with an energy drink because I don't want to take out an entire stack of water just for one sip of water. Our sunken box is good. They're fine. They're all right. They're kind of a hassle to get, but they're they are all right. In my opinion, they are all right. It's like, when you're going to play more Fury Survival Pixel Z, you have only one video on it. I don't think there will be more Fury Survival Pixel Z. I think I've made that video a long time ago. I don't know if there will be more of it. Sayonara. Nothing else. Maybe I'll have enough guns in the inbox for the boss so that we don't go back to the base. Maybe. I mean, the only guns in the inbox that we have are scars. I guess we'll have to do that. Probably. Psych, is the community event worth it? I don't think so. I don't think it's worth it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's all because I ate those steaks. Have you ever caught a sturgeon fish? I think I had all the fishes in this game, so I'd probably say yes. I don't remember, but probably yes. It's like, do you need to have the burglar still to get that blue card in the police station or not? I don't know. I have no idea. Probably not. We got these dudes, another carbon composite. Guys, we're almost done clearing this entire thing and we only have nine carbon composites and like eight factory parts. And the, the boss is like what, behind this door or something? Like, excuse me? Maybe you don't get stack of each. Maybe they, nerf Maybe they have nerfed this event. We'll see. Why did you stop playing The Walking Zombie 2? Um, I made a live stream on it quite a while ago. A few weeks ago. Maybe there will be more. I didn't stop it, stop it. It's just that we are playing Last on Earth right now. Flamethrower, is it good or not? No, it's not good. It is pretty bad. I wouldn't use it on anything. It's 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 probably one of the worst weapons in the game, to be completely honest. It looks cool. One of the cooler weapons, but... One of the cooler looking weapons. But... The worst, probably, weapon in the game. Worse than a zip gun. If I was completely honest with you. Okay, nobody spawns from there. I'll get more pipes. Why not? So I can raiders, survivors, loot, uh, or break your warehouse, bookshelf, and acid bath. No, they can't do that. They cannot do that. Let's get these rewards. Wait, we have some stuff here. Okay, I've already checked everything. That's good. Whatever. So let's deal with the boss. So we'll probably get a few guns from the inbox. Hopefully that'll be enough. 
to deal with this dude. And I think we will be ready. Then I'll have to go and clear this place fully again. Because I only have nine carbon composites and nine factory parts. And I've killed like what? Like 80% of the zombies in this place. Why don't they give lots of carbon composites? Do they give carbon composites only in those special rooms? Or something? I don't know. We'll have to check it out. Am I just unlucky? Don't you get an entire stack of carbon composites? Maybe you only get like 10 of each. Maybe you don't get a stack of each. It's been already nerfed last year. We got two stacks of each. Now we only get one. If that's the case, then this event is like... Oh my goodness. This event then is bad. I get it. Uh, at least getting an entire stack of factory parts and, fac and carbon composites for this event was worth it. Now, I'd rather just recycle guns. I'll be completely honest with you. I'd rather just recycle guns. If that's what we get, I'm going to clear this event fully and then I'll have my verdict. Because if we get 10 of each, then I really don't think it's worth it. I just, I'd honestly rather re just recycle like 20, 30 Glocks and I'd do nothing and I wouldn't have to clear this place and... Uh, but at the same time, we do get some guns in return. I don't know, it's not worth it. For 10 of each, I don't think it's worth it. I'll be up front, it's not worth it. For a stack, I think, maybe. I don't know, man, it's garbage. Is it garbage, though? Okay, we got some some shotguns. I'm taking way too many guns right now. I'm an idiot. I'll get another scar and a few shotties. That's it. That's what I'll have. And I am ready. First, when it came out, you would get two stacks of each. Yeah, that's what I. That's why I keep confusing all the time because I remember when it came out, we could get two stacks of each. Now we only get ten of each. There's that. It's never enough when it comes to guns and lies on Earth. That is true. That is absolutely true. Welcome, insane, to the stream. Welcome, welcome. How do you get weapons quickly, but Corral? From Bun Corral. We didn't get the boss music on this Blight Mark 8. Or whatever his name is. Oh my goodness, I got stunned. Oh my goodness, I had only two health, I could have died. I should have died there. This boss has a little bit too much defense. I think they should just remove a little bit of defense from this boss. He does require lots of weapons to kill it. You could probably time some of the boss's attacks to kill those other smaller zombies because he does damage them as well. As you just saw there, but... It's just probably too complicated. Oh my goodness. Let's get another shotgun. Maybe I didn't even have to take anything from the inbox. I mean, I just needed... Oh yeah, I did use a full scar for it. So yeah, I did have to take stuff. Because I didn't have enough weapons. And there we go, we just dealt with the boss. Sheesh! We did it. The boss has a lot of defense, better use Genesis guns for it, maybe. Maybe, maybe, okay, let's get the rest of that stuff. I got five, five factory parts with Sector A. Yeah, I also got four. It is kind of ridiculous, isn't it? I got four factory parts and four carbon composites from only A sector, and I almost got nothing from the other three sectors. Maybe I did miss some stuff, so now I'm gonna go all around it again. And we'll see how it works. As I'm sure I've missed some of these crates, I've missed some of the rooms. I'll clear the rest of these rooms. And I want to actually see how many items we can get. Oh my goodness, these guys. Unbelievable. These guys obviously stood up, of course, why wouldn't they? Okay, both of them are dead. Oh my goodness, I, d I got some damage. Wait, I can maybe use this thing to stop my damage. There we go.
It would be cool if the boss lost defense armor over time when he loses health. I mean, usually bosses gain more defense over time when you shoot them. They usually get harder, not easier. I'm gonna get rid of this broken armor. So that's it. We have cleared the A1 floor fully. Let's go for the A2 floor. I know that I haven't cleared it fully as that A2 floor has a lot of little rooms everywhere. I will clear every single room that I haven't cleared yet, and then I'll give my final verdict on this event. <sighs> It'll be a very complicated verdict. That's all I have to say. This event is complicated. This event is for desperate people. Alright? That's what it feels like. If you're a completely desperate and you want to get carbon composites and... Yeah, then maybe it's worth it. I think that's what the, that's for whom this event is for. That's whom this event is for. The desperate people. If you're absolutely desperate for carbon composites, then yeah. If you just want to get one carbon composite, you can just hop in, kill a few zombies, and leave this place. Plus, now you need to clear laboratory anyways. A1 and A2 floor for the boss anyways. To assemble your drone. So, there's that. So you have to clear laboratory anyway, so you might as well just clear it. I missed one room in A1. I somehow doubt it. If I did, I'm sorry. I don't see where I could have missed it. It's impossible. I never make any mistakes. Seriously, I've done zero mistakes in my entire life. Impossible. Okay, another A card. Okay, another room here, bruh. Oh, it's the boss room. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're not gonna fight that boss there. He doesn't drop carbon composites anyways. If they dropped five extra carbon composites, then maybe... Okay, do we get anything? Nope. Another factory part? And are we done? Almost done. There are more rooms. Is it only A2 sector that has that many rooms? As I'm pretty sure B1 sector or something doesn't have that many rooms. Here it feels like every room is a room that we don't need to open up. And each room has three of these zombies. It's annoying. I, marry, I very much prefer when zombies aren't stacked together. That way at least you can sneak attack them. Like here, when they're all in one room, like three of them, there's nothing you can do about them. Just like attack them. You can kind of wall trick them, but that's it. I wish we could sneak attack them. The event is worth it when you need flight controllers for the drone, I think. Yeah. It's a bonus. I mean, before laboratory was absolutely useless. Now you need to clear it to assemble your drone if you want to get to the transport hub, so. Yeah. Let's open up this room as well. Why not? I'll just see if I've cleared everything. Oops. The wrong button. Okay, there are a few zombies here. Maybe it looks like we have less rooms in B1 sector because some of those rooms are transparent so you can see what's going on. Because these rooms have windows.
Find other games? What? We've played a lot of games here on the channel. You can check it out. Go to the playlist. Or scroll through the channel videos. We have a lot of those. And then nothing here. Okay, there's one more room. Okay. So you can wall trick some of these zombies. That's true. But that'll still cost you melee weapons. Another B card. Silent shotguns were a thing I didn't know I needed in my life. Okay. Oh, I haven't looted this room anyway, so I'm glad that I came here. And we do get more B cards than A cards. I have looted every single room in A thing, and I constantly get less A cards than B cards. I constantly get more B. I can't be the only one. Maybe somebody in the chat can also confirm, but I always get more B than A cards. All the time. Nothing here. And yeah, we have one more room. Let's check that out and that's it. So far we've gotten only 10 carbon composites and 12 factory parts. Yeah. Even if I had wall tricked every single zombie here. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. This event isn't that good. Whatever, I'll get these pipes. But I have like, what, over 100 pipes at the base already. We don't need that many of them. I don't know why we get that many pipes. Some some of the resources don't make sense. I think we are done. I don't think I've missed any other rooms here. There's just one more zombie that I haven't killed. Wait, and there's a room! Wait, what? I haven't opened up that room yet. And I'm out of guns. Bruh! Unbelievable. Uh, let's get some shotguns. And there's one more room that I missed. I need to go back and open it up. Where even was it? How do I get to that room? Okay, I see. I see. How are the zombies missing? What? Oh my goodness, it just... I couldn't dodge it. Unbelievable. It's gonna spit on me again very soon. Okay, it didn't spit on me now. There's a terminal, but you can't do anything with this terminal. That's stupid. Oh, because we've already cleared the floors and we deactivated all the traps, so that's why we can't do anything with it. I see. I just realized it. The community man is still worse than the laboratory, says Visa. Maybe or debatable. Sometimes labor sometimes you can really get lucky with the community man. Sometimes you can get nice loot there. I think even from the community man you can get carbon composites or factory parts, maybe. Yeah, that's it. We have cleared the entire the entire bunker. The entire laboratory. And we've gotten only 12 factory parts and 10 carbon composites. And we've killed every single zombie. I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. Unless you're like very desperate and you want to get some carbon composites. If you don't want to clear laboratory, it's, you can just go here, kill a few zombies and get like one carbon composites and one uh, factory part. And then you can skedaddle from here. If you need to assemble your drone, then this event becomes a little bit more worth it. As you can get like bonus factory parts and bonus carbon composites. Does this event have the right to exist? Yes. I think this event... I, I don't think developers should remove this event. I think it's doable. It's not complete garbage like the community event. But it is very expensive. But I think it is worth for some people. That's it. That's my final verdict. Okay, let's clear our inventory and then let's get back here and let's open up all of these crates.
Say so only in those circumstances it's worth it. If you need to assemble your drone. If you don't need your drone, then I really don't know if it's if you should bother about this event. Then I don't think you should bother with this event. Open crates. I said we will open up those crates once I sort the inventory. As I won't be able to bring the loot anyways. I'm level 25 on the new account right now. Should I get the police station? What? I mean, why not? You should go there. Hey, so I love the new scum videos, says Prince P. I'm glad you enjoyed it. There will be more scum videos as well. There will be more of those. I mean, soon we should be getting a new update. 0 0.9 update because it's been uh, over a half a year. Maybe eight months or something. Maybe not eight months. Well, it's been a while since we've got a 0 0.7 update, so... We should be getting a new one quite soon-ish, hopefully. I know that's just my, like, random speculation. I don't see the I have not cleared it, but it's worth it option. I mean, it's just... It doesn't really matter if you've cleared it or... I mean, maybe it matters, but I see what you mean. A lot of people said that it's worth it probably be without even clearing this event. I'm like sure 35% of people said that this event is worth it. They, a lot of those people haven't even cleared the event. I agree with you. But still, before that event was a bit better. And if you need to assemble the drone, that these are just like your bonus items anyways. But yeah. It's like a smash like on the video for the laboratory crate opening. We're gonna open it up very soon. Oh my goodness, it doesn't fit! Nothing fits! Everything's full. Kefir should reduce the zombies' health and buff our damage, then the event would be worth it. Yeah, they should definitely nerf those zombies by 50%, then that event is then that event would be amazing. Just like with Bunker, bravo. Oh lord, I'm gonna get this. I'll cut these planks into logs. There we go, now we have some more space. I have so many of these pipes that I don't even know why I was gathering them. Okay, let's get that. We need to drop some of these guns here. I've cleared it. I'm just trolling. Also, I bought the Bombardier upgrade and I can't even upgrade the drone yet. Thought it was to complete the drone, not to upgrade it, says Rudy Alejos. Thanks for being a member of the channel. Thanks for supporting the channel, Rudy. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. And uh, rip for the Bombardier pack. That's sad. That is sad. Um, this thing, I mean, I can't fit it anywhere else. Let's drop some loot back in these crates. But yeah, but you were also right that... Uh, that a lot of people that voted for yes, it's worth it, they haven't cleared it. Because there's no way everybody cleared this event. It is a little bit expensive. I still need to take a shower, dude. There are so many things I need to do. Rip 20 bucks. I'll probably never get to that point, says Rudy. Yeah, crafting the drone upgrade mod station is, like, extremely expensive. It's ridiculously expensive. Bro, so rich, he's deleting loot. Literally deleted one stupid... Uh, inhaler, bro. Stop it. That ain't loot. Um, let's take a shower. Can someone explain how did he that how do you use healing items that time when he was taking guns from the yeet box? What? How did he use healing items that time when he was taking gun from the yeet box? 
I'll read that question slower. Maybe some of us will understand. Maybe somebody can decipher this message. So can someone explain how did he use healing items that time when he was taking gun from the yeet box? I really don't understand it. I'm sorry. I don't I don't get it. What yeet box? What healing item? I am lost. I'm sorry. I'm confused. I am very confused. I'm gonna bring these cards as well. And uh, we have some more items to give to, to that place. Okay. Let's go back then. Deleted two empty bottles. Oh my God, Sarek deleting loot. Guys, those are just like two empty bottles. He's talking about our economy and how it's affecting gaming in general. Okay. Now I get it. That's what he's talking about. I think that meant when you ran out of shotguns and you were taking damage. Well, I was taking damage, but I didn't heal during that time. I don't get it. Maybe he's trying to say, how did you heal while well, you were getting a weapon from the inbox? Maybe, but I didn't heal at that time. The yeet box. Who calls the inbox the yeet box? But yeah, I mean, I never, I didn't heal. The zombie was not doing damage. Yeah, the zombie wasn't doing damage because we have the agility perk. And even if we didn't have the agility perk, we got that gun pretty fast that the zombie wouldn't have killed us. I got 20 fiber class for making the drone and need the parts. Stupid laboratory so hard. It is definitely hard. They should definitely do something with the laboratory. It is very difficult. You can still like wall trick lots of stuff, but the rewards are not worth it. Like that's the, that's the problem. I think maybe they can keep the difficulty, but they should increase the rewards as well. I don't really mind the difficulty, but the rewards are not worth it. Take care, Rudy Alejos. Take care. Take care, take care. How to airdrop event, please help me, bro. I don't know, you just have to walk around the map, you just have to play the game, and those events in those events will spawn eventually. Thank you, mate. Just misunderstood it, I guess. I'm a total noob here. Appreciate your contents. You're welcome, Murgi. Welcome, welcome. And hopefully I didn't mispronounce your name. Welcome to the streams. And yeah, guys, let's open up these crates then. Uh, this, that one. So yeah, once again, the final verdict about this event. It's probably not worth it if... If you already have your drone. If you don't have your drone, hey, you can get some bonus items. But yeah, here inside of the first crate, we've gotten three guns. And inside of the B crate, we've gotten three more weapons. Okay, I will take that. So yeah, the laboratory event is nice if you don't have any... If you don't have your drones, that way you still have to clear the laboratory anyways. You might as well just get some factory parts for it and carbon composites. But you get only like 10 carbon composites and 10 factory parts for the entire laboratory. So there's that. Uh, let's get... This. Alright, is there anything else I can get? Nothing, apparently. Nothing. I have this stupid hazmat armor. It doesn't fit anywhere in the base. Well, I'll leave it here for now. I'll come back for it later. Wink, wink. I'll definitely come back for it later, guys. I'll come back for this thing off camera. Let's go. Spend 100 energy for one airdrop. Yeah, you got you got to walk around. You got to spend some energy and then those airdrops will spawn. They usually don't spawn at full energy. From the start, I got only two AI raids and nothing more. Uh, you need to unlock some of the watchtowers to see other raids if you still haven't done that. But basically, you need to reach level 150 to do more raids. That's pretty much it. That's it. There's nothing here. There's nothing. Psych, you know what Murgy means? It means chicken. Lol. <laughs> Murgy means chicken! <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a good one. That's a good one, Kush.
You only said that comment six, seven times in the chat. It's actually funny. Murgy means chicken. Guys, it means chicken! Murgy means chicken. <laughs> I can't. I can't. It is hilarious. It is actually funny. It is actually funny. <laughs> Haven't been on a raid in 84 years. Ran out of C4s. I'm not gonna craft them because they are too expensive. I agree. I absolutely agree. I mean, you can still get them from the Red Crate and Bunker Alpha, so... Mm. But yeah, they're kind of expensive-ish. Psych has, get to get, uh, Psych has to get new pants because he peed a little. Yes, indeed. Murgi means chicken and Bidrohi means rebel. So yeah, chicken rebel. Epic. Epic. Absolutely epic. Um, my brain is working overtime. I don't know where to drop these guns. I'm gonna move my scar somewhere else. It's like, I'm embarrassed. Why would you do that? God, dude, stop it. I'm just kidding. It's fine. I just saw your comment. You just kept saying that comment again and again and again and again. And I was like, whatever, I'll read it. I'll read it. Because, I mean, it would be just boring. It's like, do you know Murgy means chicken? Like, that's it. There's nothing I can say about it. You said, it's like, do you know Murgy means chicken? Lol. At the very end, that lol. I was like, whatever, I'll read it in a different way to have some fun. I'm just poking fun, mate. Don't worry. It's all good. It's all fun. Right? Didn't mean anything wrong. The best bow modification, says Jay. None. <laughs> Don't modify your bows. Don't use your bows. Don't use them. That's probably the best mod. Like, no bow at all. Are you gonna do transport hub? Yes, we're gonna go and clear the transport hub right now. Absolutely, I just need to drop... Uh, this thing here. Wait, I need to reset the transport hub at least. Drop it here. I've been getting uh, C4s from Alpha. I've been clearing it every two days to get them. Have a few now, but waiting to have more C4s to do raids again. I believe. I absolutely believe. To be honest, a lot of raids are bad. And if you do research, if you, let's, say, let's say you do a raid and you do research. Before you do a raid, you can do research and you can see that, hey, if that raid requires a C4 and it's a bad raid, then... You can just save that raid in that C4. It's kind of sad to not raid at all. That way the raid is wasted. But yeah. I'm thinking. Um, Sarek, what are you thinking? How to sort out this inventory. How to sort out this mess. That's what I'm kind of thinking. But is that it? Actually, Morgi, that's how you pronounce it. Alrighty. It's like, are 99 grenades worth it for 99 waves? Absolutely. They are totally worth it. Okay, we have some other things to do. We could do a raid today, but I feel like we should go and clear the transport hub. Um, right? I think the transport hub is a bit better. I'll drop that here. I will get two stacks of these. And I want to see what kind of tasks we need to do to do a raid. Uh, three of these. The Colonel. Uh, pretty basic tasks. But hey, maybe we'll do more raids tomorrow. We'll see. I don't know. Kind of want to go and do the transport hub though. I'm thinking I either clear it today or I clear the transport hub tomorrow. I should probably save it for tomorrow, but I want to go there today. Does that make any sense? I don't know. I will go there anyways. There we go. We'll get a few flare guns. And I need a few Genesis weapons. So how about I get these and I'll drop... 
some things that I don't need. Like this minigun, I know that I won't use that many. That's way too many guns for that, for the transport hub, but whatever. This and this. Let's also not forget some food. I want to get a stack of carrots. And perhaps another armor. Um, this. Hey, did you get your daily dose of loot in the settlement? I'll get it maybe at the end. It's another loading screen that we'll have to look at. Or maybe I've actually already gotten the loot before the live stream, if I'm not mistaken. I might be confusing with another day, but I actually might have already gotten the loot. Maybe. Actually might have already gotten the loot. Funny that my healer never spawned and I can't watch ads to restore my energy anymore. Rip. Absolutely rip. Is the commune worth it? I mean, today we've gotten lots of comments about the commune event. It's not worth it. I don't think the commune event is worth it. I think it's pretty bad. But I mean, if the laboratory event is there, then maybe the community event also has its own place. It's very unstable. It's very random. Sometimes you can get something nice. Sometimes you'll get like scrap metal as a reward or a pair of stinky pants. I missed the beginner rewards for two days and they made me watch ads and then the game crashed. It says Nasimuddin. Um, what are the beginner rewards? Haven't heard of those. I mean, I've heard that now we don't get the survival's guide or something, but we get some sort of rewards for 30 days just for logging in the game and get like some random rewards, I guess. Sark, is life worth it? Hashtag, why do we suffer, says Lila. Probably life is worth it. Why not? We have nothing else to compare it to, so I'd say it's worth it. In my humble opinion, I think it's worth it. Dude, these zombies are so much easier to kill at, compared to the laboratory zombies. They're so much better. I remember I haven't cleared Bunker Alpha in like a few months and I've just been clearing the laboratory and Bunker Bravo and then I went to Bunker Alpha. And that thing was so easy as those zombies have like no defense at all. So they just melt. Same thing here. A lot of these zombies just get destroyed. Can I find hydraulic parts at the transport hub? I need one more to build the pressing machine in the settlement. I have no idea. Maybe some people can help in the chat. I don't know. I don't think so. You get hydraulic parts only from bosses in the laboratory. That's my guess. That's what I would say. that it just should die. Is pineapple on pizza worth it? Up to you! If you like it, it's worth it. If you don't like it, it's not worth it. Okay, these smashers have some defense, though. These smashers are ridiculous. These smashers are stupid. We can actually dodge it here. That's pretty cool. Oh my goodness, didn't dodge it now. Unbelievable. Is Rambutan worth it? I still haven't, I still haven't tried that Rambutan fruit. I don't think I'd even find it here in France. Where do you get the flare guns? Uh, where did I get them? I mean, I've gotten them from playing this game for like six years. I kept basically collecting them. I never used them. And you get flare guns from... From a lot of places, mainly the police department. 
I think mainly the police department. I've opened a bunch of like blue crates and sometimes you get them there, maybe in green crates. But yeah, mainly from the police department. I think 80% of them came from the police departments. Maybe, if not more. Sometimes these toxic darters don't even want to follow us. That is interesting. I didn't get the drone. No! No! I'm going to go control F and drone. How many people have mentioned the drone? Um, not a lot. I got fiberglass drone, other drone. But once you cry off the drone, nobody mentioned me the drone. You forgot to bring the drone only now when it's already too late. Nobody mentioned the uh, nobody mentioned the drone either. Guys, I'm disappointed in you. Usually you save me from my mistakes. This time nobody saved me. How am I supposed to save myself? You forgot the drone, says DA. Ha <laughs> ha! That is hilarious! You're very funny, DA. Very hilarious. That was a knee slapper. Can't believe it. I can't believe it. No one have mentioned the drone. Yep, nobody talked about the drone. You can't guys blame me that, oh, sorry, you didn't check the chat. Because I did check the chat. I was looking at the chat and waiting, guys, until you mentioned about the drone. Nobody mentioned about that drone. So here I am. It's like, if you knew about it, then why didn't you take it? it so that it's a lesson for you. That way you know to remind me uh, next time. And I just dropped garbage in this chest. Unbelievable. I guess it's fine. We sorted it out. I lost all my loot. How? Well, hopefully you'll get more loot, man. How do you unlock blueprints for the drone bench? Uh, from this place. Where I am now, like right now, exactly in this... In the next room. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Why on earth these explosive zombies need Genesis weapons? They're just stupid. Whatever, I'll use it. I'm stuck! I'm stuck again! That's it, I'm dead. Oh no, I'm not dead. I am I might actually die. I might actually die! That's it, guys, I'm dead. Oh no, I'm not dead. I might die. This room is too- How many of you died here? I actually want to know, Paul, if a lot of you have died in this room. I'm sure that the numbers here are through the roof. Like, a lot of people have died in this room. There's no way. There's no way that no one has died there. So yeah, you get drone mods sometimes here in this place. Not always, but sometimes you get drone mods. I haven't gotten the drone mod in a long time though. But sometimes you get them. Why do riot zombies need Genesis weapons? I have no idea. They're bloody special. Tactical death to get the drone. That actually would have been smart. That actually would have been smart. I should have died there. But it's too late. I will probably die. A tactical death will be better. Like, I, I'm not even kidding. A tactical death is better. A tactical death is better. I agree. I died there and I don't have that room open yet. I didn't. Oh, you didn't die there because you don't have that room open. I read it as you died there already without that room. I was like, what? I don't bother clearing that section anymore. It's not worth it. I agree. I'm clearing it for the content, but I agree with you. It is not worth it. Also, it looks like it's as if you can exchange lots of blueprints here. Hey, drop these blueprints to get other drone blueprints. Bruh, we don't even get any blueprints here. We get like one blueprint per 10 openings, and even then I'm not sure. So there's that. How do we die, though? Okay, let's go here and let's die. And let's come back here with a drone. I'm ready. I'm absolutely ready. It'll be faster. Less loading screens. Okay, let's get some of these schmucks. I'll go lower. Sorry, take off your armor to save. Maybe. I think the armor... I think our dead body will spawn at the very beginning there, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm almost sure, though. Whatever, I'm gonna die here. There go, I'm dead, guys. That's a tactical death. Let's revive...
Sorry, I'm doing it again. Don't ban me. You're doing again what? Kush, you're doing what? Sorry, I'm losing interest from this game. I'm almost done with every task except ADV. I consider it useless. So, didn't grind for it. And I'm a free-to-play. Can you suggest any interesting things to do next? There are a bunch of other games that you can check out. Your life doesn't revolve around last entered survival. If you don't like playing it, why would you force yourself to play it? Because that's the best tip and trick that I can give you. I mean, if you already have everything you don't want your ATV, then don't get the drone. I would have forgotten the drone. Thanks, Jayla. I would have totally forgotten the drone. Sheesh. And Azim, thank you, thank you. Thank you guys for reminding about the drone. I see lots of you now reminding about the drone. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, if you don't feel like playing this game anymore, then probably don't grind it. Wait until you get another update. You don't have to grind it daily. Because that's pretty simple. I really don't know what else I could do. Maybe chat can suggest you other things. Or does the chat agree with me? You can just wait. You can just check out Happy Psyx live streams. You don't have to play the game yourself. You can just check out the live streams and follow the news. If there's something new, you know that I'll show that. So if there's a new new content, you'll always be able to get back to the game. You don't have to grind it daily. So yeah, we got the drone, guys. Thank you, thank you for reminding now about the drone, as I would have forgotten about it again. I would have totally forgotten about it. The most important thing is not to forget about Happy Siren. If you quit last dinner, don't forget about Happy Siren. Happy Siren is still here. That's the most important thing. Did another season start, says Dia. Yes, another season has already started. That's crazy how fast these seasons start. They last only for 21 days. It's ridiculous. <laughs> that is actually funny, man. I don't know why, but I find it funny. They don't even bother for it to last like an entire month. It just lasts for... For three weeks. And then there's another season that you can buy. Unbelievable. Do other games do that? Other... Guys, do you know any other games like with battle passes, seasons and everything? Are there any other games that have uh, seasons that are shorter than 21 days? Or seasons that, that last for 21 days? Shorter or equal seasons as in Last and Earth Survival? Pretty much the same stuff in the season pass. Yeah, like before, at least we used to get something unique every time. Like you would get a new season and you would like rush to check out these rewards. Like, oh, what do we get this time? And now we get like these basic rewards. Like, it's not really interesting. I kind of get it. Like, what else can they add here? But... I mean, bruh. It is last on Earth, right? They could come up with something. So, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed. I've been, in, I've been disappointed in these seasons for a really long time. Same man stuff. I mean, it's... It's not that bad, like, it's... We don't get a tactical backpack, but you do get 10 copper bars at the very beginning. And for beginners, it's kind of big. It's kind of huge. You do get a few guns, you get a few iron hatches, which is not that big of a deal. But you get, like, three basic mods, and on level 33, you get three extremely rare mods. Which is something. Like, that's pretty huge. Other than that, the rewards are garbage. They could add settlement loot. They could absolutely add settlement loot. Like, the, these seasons are... Th these seasons are just terrible. Like, they're just... They, they're just bad. Like, it's it's cool that now we get them that often, but I really feel... They're not interesting anymore. Before when the new season... Before the new season began... We all wanted to know what kind of loot we'd get there. And every time the season began, we're like, we rushed to check out that season pass to see what, what we have there. What do we have this time? We had like some unique rewards. Maybe they were in the best, but we had at least some unique rewards. Now it looks like we get nothing there. Still, I think the current season, maybe we'll need to like check out some sort of a video. Wait, maybe let's go. Let's check out the season from 
the first season. Maybe let's check out the first season, third season. Elder E season one. Siren. What was the season pass in season one? Uh, Happy Cyrex season one. Uh, where is that season one? I don't see the season one. Oh, the season one update. There we go. There it is. Can we check the rewards? Okay, so yeah, we can check the rewards, ladies and gents. There are the rewards. Okay, so level one rewards were pretty bad. Level two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Wait, where are the free? Oh, all, everything on the top was free. The previous season pass was better. All of these rewards were free. That was the first season, ladies and gents. Okay, so the Happy Cyrus behind us is gonna scroll further. Here we were getting an energy drink, a basic backpack, some more energy drinks, some C4, a shotgun. At least every level had a reward. On level 20, we had a tactical backpack. A katana, a gun. At that time when it came out, I thought it was... Uh, I thought it was kind of... It was kind of bad, but actually it's... It's probably maybe better than the current one. Look how everything has changed. Okay, now it only goes up to level 30. The rewards here weren't that great, but at least every level we would get something, like an energy drink at least. On levels where we... We're not supposed to get anything, at least we'd get that. The season pass looked cleaner. Actually, at least we knew what we're getting now. Everything is like this. I think the current season pass looks stupid. I don't like the way it looks like. I definitely prefer the last one. At least it was refreshing. Oh yeah, definitely. Like the... I would take previous season passes any day compared to these ones. I mean, we do get purple mods, like, we do get some nice perks here as well, but I did like the previous season pass. It looked- previous season passes, it looked better. It looked cleaner. At least we could see what rewards we get. Like, everything was in a column. A free reward and a paid reward. You could see what's going on here now, everything is just... in a line. Maybe there is a reason for it, right? A psychological reason. Maybe more people buy more season passes because of, uh this design but yeah i prefer the other one there's a lot of loot now bloody ripoff yeah now we do get purple moss there and those are huge but still the previous seasons i think there were better and we're not even talking about the season tasks the daily tasks that we had to do the weekly tasks grinding seasons was also kind of weird because you had to do those tasks you were, you were not getting points for for killing zombies, so that was kind of bad. So, there are some benefits to current seasons that we have, for sure, but... So, yeah, I guess that would be... That'd be wrong for me to just crap on the current seasons, because I think previous seasons were not the best. I'm sure if they come back, a lot of people wouldn't like them. But, at the same time, I think they could just mix. Like, one season could be, like, the season we have right now, and the next season could be season with daily and weekly tasks. They could change so that we don't get the same things, so that things don't get stale. I think the worst part a game can do, the worst thing a game can do is getting stale. And every season is now exactly the same. We get exactly the same stuff. There's nothing to expect, nothing to wait for. You know what you're gonna get. So there's that. It's like, what's the time for you? It's 7.48 p.m. <sighs> so there's that. The old Last on Earth was awesome. Yeah, old first few seasons were amazing. We had like some tasks to do. There were like some missions. It was epic. But at that time... Yeah, they were fine. I mean, we were expecting more. I think it's normal to expect more from the game. I also kind of understand the developers, because every time they released an update... Every time they released an update, people would still say that, Oh, it's a bad update. We need more and more. But, yeah. I guess it's just natural to want more. Now, look at that. Now, look at Last Earth. Now, we have nothing. We wanted more and more, and now we have nothing. We would give everything to go back to the good old last in our days. But it's too late now. We need JCF to come back with his criticism to improve the game. Everybody's been criticizing the game since day one. Nothing's really going to change. Oh, 
I wanted to say that it's kind of all about the money. Like, we used to get more updates when Last and Earth was probably bringing in them more revenue. But then we were getting more updates. Now Last and Earth kind of slowed down, so it's kind of worthless for them to improve on it, I guess. Which I kind of probably would disagree. Honestly, I have no idea. How many crates have I opened up? Three? Four? I don't know where's the fourth crate. I feel like I've only opened up three crates. Oh. Let's pop all of that. After three more years, we'll get three items from level 30. Maybe. I've opened up already four crates. Okay, so let's go. Let's fight the boss then. Well, in any case, I still have high hopes. Well, maybe high hopes is very optimistic, but I still have hopes, all right, for a last and survival. I still hope that they'll add something. Something to make the game a bit better. Like, I think what they could do is uh, improve on that settlement. There are, there are the, like, those uh, dual mods. Then we have the evacuation game mod and... Uh, Something else, like the evacuation, duel, and something else. I think they can implement, like, those mods in the game. And if they're well made, then... That'd be awesome. So there's that. When people put money into a game, you expect regular and decent updates, though. Not just season after season with random filler content that may or may not stay. I think it depends how many people probably work on their team. I agree with what you say. Absolutely. But I think I'm kind of curious now uh, on another topic. I'm curious how many people still work on Last Earth Survival. How big is that team? Is it one people? <laughs> one people? Is it one person? Is it three people? Ten people? Twenty people? How many people work on this game? Because there's no way there's still the same amount of people that work on this game as like five years ago when it came out. A one person team. <laughs> I mean, it looks like it. I'm not gonna lie. I agree with you. It does look like we have one person working on the game. Because the updates that we get. Whoa, we have a car. Bro, have I ever gotten this thing before? I paid those shady guys to take me and my car to somewhere in Asia. At least it's warm there. Unlike here where we were dying of cold, it's just this itch is killing me. And for some reason, I want to eat all the time. Where can we go? Oh, so this guy died. We just killed this dude. Uh, whatever he was. So they didn't even bring him to Asia. The thing just got stuck here. Why would he transport himself in this, in this thing? Whatever. So th there was nothing inside of it. There was just a crate and that's it. Okay, we got the boss. Okay, let's go a little bit lower. A one, per one person and their true friend dog. Okay. Also, there was another great comment quite recently. Somebody asked, where is the, whatever that is, the roadmap. And I've completely forgotten about the roadmap. A few months ago, developers said that, hey, there will be a roadmap, that they're currently working on a roadmap. And it's already been a few months ago. I actually want to pull out the, I want to pull out Discord. I want to pull up Discord and I want to see when did they say that? It was already a few months ago for sure. Maybe three months ago, four months ago. Where is that roadmap? I, I was actually excited about the roadmap. If I had to guess, I still think they're working on the game. 
I just think that the team size, their team is a lot, a lot smaller than it used to be. That's why we're getting just less content. But hey, I'm just hoping that they'll keep developing the game, that's it. That's all I have to say. I wonder what happened to the roadmap. To what happened? Oh, also, what happened to the second part of the Q&A? There is no second part of the Q&A. They started with like, oh, we've gotten an insane amount of great questions here. This is part one of the Q&A. There will be part two. Where is part two? We still don't have that part two. It's been so long ago that it's not, it doesn't even make sense for them to release that uh, the that second part of the Q&A. It is, it is actually kind of crazy. Unless maybe some things are happening behind the scenes. Maybe they can't work on the settlement, maybe... Maybe there's nobody left to work on last in survival. I don't know. I'm just saying that I'm very... Very surprised. The roadmap turned into a season. Yes, our roadmap. Imagine the roadmap for the next like five years and every month every like three weeks They just keep showing us that hey, there will be a new season and that's season and that's it season like 44 season 45 46 47 and so on to like season 1000 So many questions with so little answers Absolutely. What will happen when this game dies? They should let us play without connecting to their servers. Imagine all the grind just gone because they shut down their servers. Yeah, I totally agree with that as well. This game is offline, and yet you need to be connected online to play it. It's kind of... kind of trash. I agree. Okay, this boss is almost dead. In any case, I still wish best for last on Earth. And I hope we'll get more content. I mean, technically, guys, just about... Not even a month ago, we've gotten that new update. The new quality of life update. The Rottweilers and... The Rottweilers are just garbage. That was just a straight up L. That was just a straight up L. But, uh... We've also gotten the the global inventory in the base. So they are working on the game, right? It wasn't even a month ago, so we have gotten some new content. That's good. Apparently 27 artists and designers and 23 software and QA engineers working. I don't know from which time that was info from. That was probably from the beginning. That was a month ago. How long did they want? I mean, I have no idea. I mean, some games don't get updated for months. I think it feels like we haven't gotten any good updates because all the... I mean, we have gotten the transport hub update. That, that was a decent update. So again, it was so long ago. <sighs> yeah, they added the Rottweilers so to make everyone happy. I don't think they made anybody happy with those Rottweilers. That was an L. In my opinion, that was an L. They could have added... If they wanted to add those Rottweilers, they could have just added a new location to the game so that everybody can, could still get those Rottweilers, but they could also add an ability to buy them. Because right now, they've added those Rottweilers to the, to the game. But I can probably assure you that an average player doesn't even know anything about these doggos in the game. They don't even know what they do in the game. And where can you even buy them in the shop? Their shop is trash. And, uh, how do I... Where's that doggo? Like, let's say I want to buy the doggo right now. It's in the companions tab. And their basket with puppies. And, uh, oh, you can You only have a chance to buy these Rottweilers. You can't even buy them in the shop. Like, it's, it's such an L. It's like, hey, we added new content to the game. We added Rottweilers. To the shop, but you can't really buy them. You have to buy Basket with Puppies to have a chance to buy them. And how about those? And how about just obtaining them in the game? You can't. It, it's 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 very weird. It was a very weird choice. I don't mind having them in the shop, but it's just it's just weird. There are way too many mismatched dogs. We don't need another breed. 
probably. I agree. Okay, let's insert the screen key and let's open up some of these crates. As always, guys, I'll let you vote. I know you like voting. Okay, so that other poll, guys, we have this other poll over here. And, um... Wait. Okay, boom, there we go. Uh, there's this, and... Uh, yeah, the laboratory results, basically. 36% of people think that the laboratory event is worth it. 32% of people have never cleared it, and 25% of people think it's not worth it. That is it. Boom. Uh, we can end this poll. We can start another poll, ladies and gents. More polls. Not a weird choice, a greedy choice. I wouldn't even call it greedy. Like, if that was a greedy choice, they could have definitely been more greedy about it. As it's... I don't know, it feels like it's so hidden in the game that you don't even know that they have those Rottweilers. I guess... Like, I don't know who buys those Rottweilers. People buy that to get the true friend Doggo, but... If you don't even know that those Rottweilers exist, why would you buy that true friend Doggo? Like, if they added, if they sprinkled, sprinkled those Rottweilers in a random location, then maybe more people would get them and they'd, they'd be like, hey, maybe I can buy them in the shop. You know, maybe more people would buy them in the shop. Now people don't even know that those Rottweilers exist. Uh, which crate to open up? So honestly, I don't know why they added them. I mean, I know they added them because I think a lot of people purchased those Doggos. Right, but really, I know I would have opened the CYF crate, but now, guys, you can vote for which crate to open up. New in the stream, what event is he talking about? We were talking about the laboratory event. Show the crate. We are voting for which crate to open up, mate. We're voting now. See, a lot of people are voting for the fourth crate. I mean, always everybody votes for the fourth crate. All the time. They added a new doggo, but they don't change any locations to use it. Makes no sense. They also added new perks to those doggos, but I don't even know about these perks. Like, it's, it's just, it's very weird. Okay, I see a lot of you voted. 48% uh, of you have voted for the fourth crate. So let's open up that uh, fourth crate then. Let's unload that. And again, as I said, I don't even mind the beta win options in the shop or everything. I want this game to survive. But that was just weird. Okay, three, three guns. I will bring them back to the base. Hmm, some healing items. And plus we've gotten that gas cylinder. If you want it, for your ADV, then it's worth it. Okay, I'm gonna drop some stuff in the chopper, then I can bring that stuff back to the base. Thoughts on corgis, says Jay. I have only a few of them, and I don't know where to get them. You can't really find them. You can only get them in the shop, so I have no opinion on them. They're useless. True friend dogs are useless, like, in general. Not even, like, a specific breed here. Ju they're just useless. They're extremely hard to get, and they're kind of bad. They could be a lot better. I'm not saying that they should re they, they should remove them from the game. They, they could be a lot better. I think also another big problem in this game is they never update a, their updates. Like, they will release Bunker Bravo. They released Bunker Bravo and they've never updated it. They never upgraded it. They never changed the loot in Bunker Bravo. It came out, like, so long ago. And they never changed any zombies around or anything. They just released that thing. And that's it, it's done. Like, there's no need to... As if there's no need to upgrade anything to change the loot. Or whatever. I think that's also pretty huge. They should do that pretty... They should do that more often. They released the abandoned factory. That's it, they never updated it again. We still don't get better loot. Nobody clears it. In any case, what would I know? It's easy for, for me to speak... What they should do, what they shouldn't do. Better old content instead of new content. Yeah, old last on Earth was better. But it's easy for me to sit here and speak what they should do, what they shouldn't do. I don't know their situation. 
As I said, like the other day I was thinking that even if I... Let's say I could add now whatever update I wanted to the game. Right? Obviously the first update that I would add would, it would be the auto sort button. Like to... You go back to the base and you can auto sort everything. I'm even sure even that button wouldn't make everybody happy. Some people wouldn't be happy with that button. Like, oh, I like sorting out my inventory. There would be like somebody that would complain about it. And then whatever other update that I would choose to add in the game, there would be people that are not happy about it. But I guess just whatever update... Whatever update would be better than no update at all. So I'd prefer developers to keep adding updates that I don't agree with. Than having no updates at all. Because developers back in the day, they used to add some updates. Like they weren't that frequent, they weren't the best, but at least they were adding updates and... I don't think people were ever happy with these updates, so... There's that. I don't know, man. It's complicated. We're having just a one-way conversation. It would be cool if we had, like, somebody to talk about these things, but they'd never answer anything. Like, what? I would ask them... If we could, like, talk to one of the developers. Like, hey, why don't we get any new updates? Is the game dead? Are we gonna get more content? Like, they're just... They just give a carp uh, corporate response. Oh, we are working on the game. There will be more updates. No worries. That's it. We'd get no more details. What's the point? But it would be cool to talk to somebody to know what's up. But yeah. As I said, I'm having hopes for Last Night Survival. I hope that they'll still add more content to it. That's all... Actually, we can all do. That's all we can hope for. New skin update. Nice. Yes. More skins! Then they released the port and never updated. I mean, they did nerf the port right away. But they also kind of never updated it. I mean, maybe they don't even have to update those locations, like, every week or something. But just, like... I'm not talking to update those locations every week, but just... Once a year. To update some outdated locations so that they're worth it again. Um, nothing there. Let's try to drop the drone. More skills like in COD Warzone. I have no idea how many skins we have in Warzone. We already have a lot of skins in Last and Earth, though. I hate when they remove content. It usually just ends up me losing items. Like when they remove the radar. The radar? I have no idea what's the radar. I'm sorry, I don't know what's the radar. parts. Oh my goodness, they don't fit. I just realized that I tried putting them last time. And they don't fit. Okay, I'll drop them here. Now they fit. They have so many skins I lost count. The Warzone or this game? We already have... We have 70 backpack skins. We have 70 backpack skins. Actually, we have 98 in total. We have 98 backpack skins. I have 70 unlocked. We have 27 outfits, 19 unlocked, and 11 underwear. So we have a lot of skins. Uh, let's drop that here, here, here. And these things go there. Oh my goodness, they don't fit again. Why? Oh lord. As I said many times, I wish the best for this game. I hope we'll get more cool updates. As I said, I don't think this game will ever get back to the popularity as it was. But I definitely still think that this game can still be alright. They could still keep their current community going as I still think. Last Earth has surprisingly still a very strong community. There are still lots of people playing this game. And, uh, yeah, I think they're making a huge mistake for not working on this game. They're maybe working on some other things. They're maybe developing other games, other things, but... I still think they should keep an eye on this game.
I still think they should keep updating it. It won't be as popular as before, but there's still a, a very large audience and they can still release some epic updates for the people that still play the game. I guess. I don't know. It's cool to change his underwear. Happy Psych is too cool to change his underwear. I mean, it's spray painted. It is spray painted underwear. I mean, we could put another one. Dude, it would be so weird to have different ones. I like this one. Let's keep it. There we go. So, guys, I think we will be kind of buckling up. We just need to uh, touch some grass. We like touching grass, don't we? Spray painted another und underwear. That's what we've done. I just spray painted the tiger, uh, tiger underwear. Came to know a lot of things about last dinner today. Thanks. I don't know what you've learned today, but I'm glad that you've learned something. Thanks for coming. And now it's time for us to touch a little bit of grass in GeoGuessr. So let's grind some GeoGuessr. Uh, there we go. Radio tower was removed in 116.3. It was used to make clan or something. They have removed it because you no longer needed it for something else. But yeah, they have removed that item. I mean, it really didn't serve any purpose, but I see they have removed that thing. They did remove the radio tower. Yes, but it was kind of pointless, but they did remove it anyways. So guys, let's grind a little bit of Joe Gesser. Do you remember the good old last on Earth when you could use empty cans to make a melee weapon? Oh yeah, to make the pipe. I mean, it was a pipe. Now it's it wasn't called a pipe. It was uh, wait, what was it called? Do you guys know what the weapon was called in the game with the pipe on it? Uh, the like a stick with an empty can destroyer. The D something. I think it had a D in it. Where is it? I'm still not sure if it's Japan or not. I have no clue where we are. Uh, well, I'm probably gonna go for Taiwan. I don't think it's China. It's probably Taiwan. go here. There we go. We are on the first spot, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. Was it that? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. We were pretty close. We did it. We did it. Now we have another location here. So, guys, what was that weapon in Last Earth back in the days? Where you could build it with, like, nails and an empty can. It was called something like the destroyer, the demolisher. No, I have no idea, but something like that. Ireland Park. I mean, I'm not sure that it's Ireland though. They're driving on the left side. Wait, where is the sun? Sun is in the north. We are in the south. So yeah, it's probably Australia, either Australia or New Zealand. One of those two. Mm. And I don't know which one that would be. AU, I think that's AU. I think that's Australia. Maybe that was New Zealand. In any case, I'll go for Sydney. It's probably not Sydney, but it's got to be around that place. There you go. We are once again on the first spot and everybody voted Sydney. A lot of people have voted Sydney and it was somewhere in Sydney. Spike pipe mod. No, it wasn't spike pipe mod. Um, E20. E20, E20. Is it somewhere in Norway? I'm just gonna zoom in. And 
the I get an E some they all have the same E E things. Okay. All highways start with E for them. Okay. And they're all green. Well, it's one of those countries. Uh, Valing something. Valing by. I'm gonna go for Finland. Maybe it's not. Oh no, I'm in the last spot. I got knocked out. I was doing so well and I just got knocked out because it was somewhere in Sweden. You gotta be kidding me. No. Unbelievable. It was somewhere around Stockholm. I didn't know that. I should have just... I don't know. That is embarrassing. I got destroyed. I got absolutely just destroyed. Just annihilated. But Valheim? <laughs> what? But yeah, we got destroyed there. That's sad. Unbelievable. So hey guys, we will be wrapping it up. Thanks everybody for joining. See you tomorrow. Uh, kind of sorry that we ended maybe on a little bit sadder note where we just talked about Last and Earth and how we don't have any new updates. I usually try to not talk about it. As, uh, why would we? Devastator. Spiked Devastator says anti Annies. Yes, we are talking about, I'm talking about the Devastator. We had the Spiked Devastator before the pipe. Uh, then they introduced the pipe, but we had Spiked Devastator before the pipe. Before the pipe was the pipe, it was called a Spiked Devastator. That's it. So yeah, everybody, thanks for joining us here. See you tomorrow with either another live stream or another video. We'll see. We'll see. Thanks for being here, everybody. And uh, see you later, everybody. Shout out to all of you. Thanks for being here. And take care, everybody. See you later. Take care, take care, and see you later. Peace out.